Hi Virgo, it's Lulu and welcome to your Indie Read using the Psychic Love Oracle again. Let's get into it. What do you have for Virgo? Thank you. Embrace. A lot of people got this today, about three or four. Lead. Ooh, Virgo. Blossom. Ooh. Okay. Believe and succeed is coming under embrace. Master is coming under lead. What? Challenging times is coming under blossom. It all makes sense to me. All right. So let's see what's going on. It makes sense when you look at it, don't it? All right. So you got embrace and believe and succeed. So um, you may have come to a space where <clears throat> you are embracing your power embracing your power your influence embracing um spreading the word or spreading something you spreading something hope it's good okay whatever um oh i never saw that you got a, a lotus flower sitting on top of your head the petals so many of you are connected to your soul star your soul star chakra is wide open Okay, doing her thingamajig. And then you have believe and succeed. So once you embrace this um, influence, I feel like you're going to be very, you are, about, if you, you are already influential, but you're about to be more influential. And it's, you believe and you will succeed. Embracing this power that is being presented to you. Here is a number 21, a two moving into a one, creating a three. This is something new. This is something creative. This is something that is innovative. This is something can't be duplicated. Okay. Ten of Wands. Yeah. Because you've been through it. And to get to this point, you have a story to tell. All right. Write the book. Okay. Or the hook for a song. All right. Then you have Lead and Master. So your leadership um, abilities are being brought to the forefront here. You have the plans. Um, it's been presented to you. I really feel like you may have even had a dream where something was handed to you. And you do have to be careful with dreams, of course. But I believe, I believe in my heart that many of you do not have to go through what some of us have to go through with, you know, determining what was a dream and what was an interference. So you may have been presented something in a dream. This may have been from something uh, Native American, your Native American roots, um, tribal roots, whatever that means to you. And they gave you this in order for you to master it in this lifetime. These are sacred scrolls that you are receiving. And then you move into blossoming, being able to um, control energy, a power, um, watching things go from fire to earth, okay? It goes from fire to earth. So you work well with the fire elements, the fire realm and the earth realm possibly, the challenging times come with you blossoming. That is a given, right? You cannot be influential or a leader in stepping into your leadership capabilities. Um, that can be in corporate America. That can be anywhere. Athlete, whatever it is. Every level that you go up, you realize it's going to be a challenge. Um, and it's mostly because you are recognizing how you need to protect yourself in, a, in different arenas, different areas, different elements, right? What does that look like to you? Having a full scope and vision of everything that is going on may be a challenge. Being able to um, not, being in a space where it's a challenge for you to um, remain assertive or reserved because you're blossoming and you, you know, oftentimes when we go through something beautiful, we want to share it, don't we? And then you realize you can't share that with anybody. Hell, you barely can't share it with anybody. All right? So let's start clarifying here. What is this embrace for Virgo? Some of you may be relocating or traveling, finding your inner earth and getting to the heartbeat of that. The sun card. A new beginning, a new way of life, a new step that you are taking that you will be embracing. All right. Being in the spotlight, right? Being um in the sun, temperance, two major arcana. All right. So. Yielding your power and knowing how to, you know, balance the duality of that power that you have. But also with this temperance card, you may have some strong Sagittarius placements, Leo placements, or tempering yourself with a Leo, right? 
But um, overall, I feel like you are in a space where you are doing things in moderation. All right. You're learning as you go and doing things in accordance to divine instruction and laws. <clears throat> Anything dark cannot be hidden from you when you are balanced. So it's hard for people to get things over on you when you are balanced because I feel like your light and your connection is vast. What is this lead for Virgo? Throat chakra, knight of wands. Great with you, you inspire other people to take action. You inspire other people to succeed. You inspire Empress and the Imp. What? Y'all, this this on Virgo, we're gonna break it down. The Emperor and the Empress and the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands came out in the middle of them. All right. There may have been some type of conflict trying to keep you from the person that you were supposed to be with or are supposed to be with. Or just conflict in your relationship. Yeah, and it's time for damn death and re death and rebirth and judgment. Paperwork coming through from an offer or some type of paperwork that is highly guided. It's coming through. A tower comes in. So maybe some of you are in a relationship or the person you're dealing with is in a relationship and a tower is about to come through and break everything up because somebody is not with who they're supposed to be with. So let's keep going because what is going on? All right. What is this blossom? What is this blossom for Virgo? The seven of pen the seven of pentacles. It's time. It's time to go ahead and work your magic, right? With that seven of pentacles, it's like, okay, let me just, you know, maybe a little procrastination, a little stagnation. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm just going to stay right here and do this because this was been working. Nope, it's time for you to take that leap of faith, take that lead position, um, get out of the rut and blossom into all that you are, all that you are to become king of swords here. Your uh, mind is sharp as a tack at this time. Very strategic, calculated. Um, very informed. You are very informed. You may be mastering that um, communication realm. Maybe very good with, you know, speaking things into existence. The Ten of Pentacles and you are. This may have to do with a relationship or, you know, inheritance, um, of money, stability, wealth, generational wealth. Something is coming through. It's time for you to blossom in order to move forward. What does this believe and succeed? For Virgo, lots of communication. The hangman and the emperor. Believe that you are the emperor in your own right. Look up the archetype of the emperor because whether you're a man or a woman, this may be your divine masculine within. Take risks. Take calculated risks. Be very strategic in each of the realms. Take time out to pause and reflect. Yeah, because anything that scares you is going to, um, em you, you should embrace it. The nine of wands, this may have something to do with commitments or your family structure being uh, fearful of... Um, expressing something or presenting something to the family. What is this emperor and this hangman? Somebody got holes in their story. Temperance. And you have to really take your time out to, you know, let them communicate or what have you. Because it's like they are very slow to make moves, but they like to talk. Philosophy. Travel. Distant lands. What is this master card? King of Pentacles, you're mastering this realm as well. Um, this also has to do, maybe you are someone who um, discusses finances with people, credit, whatever it is. But overall, with this King of Pentacles and this master, there's something in the earth realm that you are mastering that you can communicate. There may be um, some house repairs if you want to be on the mundane level. It may be some house repairs or your construction company, utilities, something like that that you are mastering. What is this King of Pentacles? Four of Wands. It's a house. Stability. You're also mastering the realm of fire at this time. And that's what you are blossoming even more into. What is this Four of Wands? The Queen of Pentacles. Creating a safe space for you and your spouse. Things are coming full circle. You took some time out to reflect and think about some things. Heal from something. Heal from a relationship that you thought was sweet and honest. It's something that you anticipated. This connection. You laid the plans. The person broke your heart. God damn. Then, um, you know, now that you have this new beginning, things are coming full circle. You are free. 
you are using your logic, wanting to make some type of offer uh, to someone who you know is single. A cycle has dramatically ended. You don't know how to express it. You don't know how this person will come. They may have be in a space where they are bringing up the past. Like, hell no, because you was fucking with that person. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know what y'all got, what y'all dealing with, but it's, it's something going on because it just keep on coming out. But I just see that you have a match here. Somebody lied, betrayed you, cheated. Okay. What is this challenging times for Virgo? The high priestess, they say you already going to see it before it happens, which gives me that you have clarity of thought that goes with that king of swords as well. You are open to um, the, um, the other side of the veil, right? The thinning of the veil. Um, when they show you these things, I wouldn't be afraid. Of course you are not. Be very strategic, but also keep your, you know, keep your head on the swivel. Excuse me, what is this challenging times for Virgo? Challenging times don't last all way. Three of swords. That may be the challenge. Getting rid of somebody, getting somebody out of your house. Explaining a third party situation, third party condition. Somebody that you may have worked with. Somebody coming back from the past who you put on hold. Walked away from because they were lying. Y'all made plans, but they were too confrontational, too chaotic. You went out on a different, you know, you got self-awareness and moved to a different space. You are slow to talk to this person. You want love, but you're going back and forth with yourself, trying to make sense of it. But there is someone who will provide you some type of wisdom or clarity that will get you to moving forward, getting past your pain, making a choice to, um, you know, stand up to bad building friends, whatever that means from your childhood or maybe your Chiron placement, something that you've really been working on for quite some time. You get some type of creative spark or a new way. It's Mars energy, a new way of handling something here. Um, you know, something that you hadn't wanted to deal with. You just, you know, compartmentalize it, put it over on the shelf. But now you are seeing it from a different perspective, wanting to heal a situation that was a burden. You didn't know what you want. Now you know what you want, number 44. Maybe something happened when you were 44. Maybe something happened when you were four. And then when you were 44, that are rel relative. But you will be victorious in this situation. Then nobody have to pull out them damn cords. Your crown is going to be wide open, man. And it's like that may be a challenge for you as well. Because you may start hearing certain types of voices and stuff like that that you haven't heard before. What is this challenging times? The tower. Something is happening that, okay, so it may be a challenge to let something go. It may be time to take stock. Let something go. Expect the best, right? Um, you may be in a space where you can't make a move until something comes to you. Whether it's delivered via mail, intuition, a person, a package, whatever it is, okay? Let's see here. What is this uh, tower card? Three of Swords. It's a challenge. Yeah. Two of Cups and a Two of Wands. It's a challenge. You may be in a space where you are adamant about moving towards someone. There's a strong connection between you and this person. But there was something that happened in the past that, you know, you don't know if they'll forgive you for it. What is this Three of Swords challenge? The Ten of Cups. Commitment. Maybe it's a challenge for you to be in a committed relationship. King of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Something may have happened when you were younger that you've been holding on to. And it's a challenge to release it and let it go. Um, because there was something, something dramatic that happened to you when you were younger. And you felt foolish. You thought something was a dream come true and you felt foolish. But then you get this new beginning, this new take on life, this new leash on lease on life. And it's like now you got to release those old burdens because they just keep coming up when, and give you anxiety, stress, worry. OK, you just keep going over and over again with the past. And now you want to communicate because you feel like something is missing in your life. Something is lacking. Maybe this is the other person. Right. But something is lacking, missing in your life. The Empress or Taurus or Libra. Something is missing, but it just seems as though there was too much deception. Too much magic. Witchcraft. Okay. All right. Let me see here. 
Or maybe that's what you thought, child. I don't know. Because everybody not doing no damn witchcraft, but some people are. More people than not. But still, some of y'all ain't running into them type of people. So, you know, stop listening to readings about people doing witchcraft on you. They probably ain't, okay? Should the person you listen to probably doing it. Wheel of Fortune. This is something that was destined to happen, fated to happen. You got to get out of your, come out of your shell and communicate um, what it is that you want, what it is that you desire, what it is that you um, in, uh, are inspired to acquire. 